Previously on X Men. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This is Rob here at Smirking Gun, and we're back talking more comics. You've clicked on the thumbnail, you know what you're getting into. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and all that jazz. Um, so after X Men 97 number one was a lot of fun to do, and I knew that this was going to be how I did comics. Uh, at least in some fashion, I, you know, this could always still evolve and change. And after learning some really simple stuff, actually, on StreamYard, this is what we're doing. We're going to go back and revisit and talk about comics and new comics, old comics, all the shapes in between, different kinds. It's not all going to be X-Men related. That's going to be a lot of X-Men, though. Um, but today, going through the catalog, I found Gambit, the miniseries, the very first limited series for the Rage and Cajun from 1993 and 1994. I mean, I was, I graduated high school. I was out of, I just graduated high school when this book came out. Like a few, I was a few months in, uh, out of school. And that's like the whole thing. Like what, like Gambit, like I came out like at the perfect age to appreciate Gambit, I feel like. And uh, I was like 15 like just that rogue character. I loved Han Solo. And as much as Wolverine is the man, my man, I love Wolverine like all the way to the end, like Bucky. In my head, I always go, but Gambit though, man, Gambit. Because for me, he's just that guy that I wanted to be. And he's a real life D&D &D character. Seriously, look at, look at his stats. Stat it up. He's like a, you could call him like a warlock or a sorcerer who specializes in kinetic energy. I don't know. But all his abilities, he's what I play in D&D. &D. He's what I play in games. He's just, it's, I've been doing it forever. And I just found that out. I just really kind of came to that really realization about Gambit. And so when I have the opportunity to talk about Gambit here in this new beginning of talking about comics, this, we had to do it. We had to. So I'm excited. I'm excited to, to look back and revisit Gambit's miniseries um, that I know has to do with him going back to New Orleans. So if you remember the animated series, you know, and most people that would be watching this video probably do, um, he, Gambit's at least OG animated series stories took him to New Orleans, dealing with spoilers for everything X-Men, basically. His wife, Belladonna, which always, you know, was would throw things uh, into a already complicated relationship, you know, situation between Gambit and Rogue. Uh, but this is dealing with some other worldly stuff that's going on again in the Cajun's life and it deals with his past, dealing with the thieves and assassins guilds. So it's all just fun, fun stuff. I mean, and yeah, it fits right into like Skyrim and the, like the dark, uh, you know, the, the assassins and that. I can't remember what they're called, but anyway, so, without further ado, man, let's just jump into it. Let's start looking at this, talking about this. Uh, this is, we'll, we'll even get to the writer and artist and all that stuff. So, time to share the screen. Uh, all right. Boom. Get it like that. Let's talk Gambit. Number one. At last, the Cajun X-Man in his own limited series. $2.50 for this book in 1993. Think about that. Holy cow. It was, I remember, man, like the money you made, like it was back then, even as a, a young out of high school worker wanting comics and stuff, $2.50 was a lot for a book. So like when people complain about the price of stuff, it's because it's always done this. Anyway. Creole mothers in the French Quarter of New Orleans tell the story of the strange dark man who rolls in with the fog off the Mississippi once every seven years. The legend is used to frighten bad little children. Few people have ever actually laid eyes upon the stranger. But all who have grown up on the streets remember the tales heard on their mama's knees. Tales of the Tithe Collector. He walks the streets traveled by few, but the most foolhardy of tourists, far away from Bourbon Street and the sound of the jazz bands. 
It has been seven years. Time for another business transaction. Woe to any who interfere with the tithing. The tithe collector is going to get you if you don't be good, child. Remember your mama's words. And live. You think it's him? We oui. forget the girl. Spread the word. This is guild business. Everyone gets off the streets till it's over. Go and say a prayer to the saints that it is finished quick and clean. <coughs> These dudes get their necks cracked nice and good. I love the anime, like the drawing of like really around the dude's throat. Like this guy in the front, he's just like, whoa. The other guy, he's just like done. Like he didn't even. And we get a Dexter blood splatter. Quick and clean, maggots of the street. It is the way of the Assassin's Guild. The piece is off. Time for all the thief families to die. And the gift of the tithe collector will be ours. Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters, Westchester, New York. A late night training session in the X-Men's Danger Room. And that is where we see Howard Mackey is the story, the writer. Lee Weeks is the artist. Klaus Jansen is the inks. And I got to say again, like the art. Like I look at this and I see Jim Lee. I see Kubert. Lee Weeks is pretty good. I, I was, I thought this was Kubert. I really did. I never thought it was Jim Lee, but there is touches of Jim Lee on here. Two of that number, Gambit and Rogue, are being pushed to their furthest limit of their mute to the furthest limit of their mutant skills tension in the room is running high only some of it is due to the training session Bacoom. gotcha and now hold tight chair i'll be having you free and flying again pronto excuse me sugar if i don't need or want your help boom too late petit but don't worry, you don't have to thank me, though you and me and a candlelit dinner would be... You won't be getting any thanks from me, Gambit. Now watch your mouth and watch your back. Meanwhile, when the moment is right, a man will breach the X-Mansion's security. And even if the mutant team knew he was coming, there is little that they could do to stop him. Increasing program intensity level 6 engage you sure about this storm emotions been running high between the cajun and rogue given their unresolved romantic status don't you think we're pushing it that's the point of the exercise wolverine we must know if don't get preachy on me aurora i know the drill about seeing if they can cut it as part of the team i feel still think it's mighty cold but necessary yeah i really like the art man We'll see. These events take place before Wolverine number 75, which is the big old spoilers again for everything, where he gets his adamantium ripped out. The moon slips behind a cloud. Darkness is the ally of the man who springs forward into action. The security system of the mansion is complex and nearly impenetrable. Most would not make it past the first line of defense. Most would not try. Pouches! We've got pouches, everybody. Smooth, focused movements make the impossible appear easy. Moves like beast. Pausing to catch his breath, the man offers a prayer to the saints that future jobs will be less taxing, though he would admit, admit to this to no one. Come, share, smile. There's no reason for us to be having fun without we not be ha to be having fun with this little game. Gambit, this is the danger room, and it's no game. Kapow. <laughs> pa, you are too serious. Life is a game, and if you give me the time and the opportunity, and I love, I love this. This is another great frame. I'll show you. You. Gambit, incoming behind you. Gambit. Remy! Something has gone wrong. I am initializing termination sequence. Not so fast, darling. 
You wanted to see how they operate under combat conditions. Let it play. They can handle it. And knowing she can take the blast, she takes the brunt of the explosion. Sequence end. Told ya. Now isn't this a cozy little tete-tete chair? Love to stay here all day, but it'll have to be another time. We got company. Gambit, what? <laughs> she would break me in half. The shadows of the mansion reach out and embrace the intruder. He makes no sound. Disturbs nothing. And as he silently slips through this still night, his passage is nearly imperceptible. Until, tisk, tisk. Not good enough, my friend. No moves. Wouldn't want you to lose your head, ne? Put the card away, Remy. You're still a thief, I hope. Not an assassin. Henry? Henry! You son of a thief, it's been too long. Hate to break up the reunion, but your buddy broke through our security system, Cajun, and I want to know how. Pah, security? Everything's fine. Henry's a friend of mine from New Orleans. Why didn't the professor or Psylocke pick him up telepathically? And how did you know he was here? We all have our secrets, share. Now excuse us. We need to catch up on old times. Talk to me, Henry. I came for you, bro. It's the tithing time. The guild, all of us, have to be there, together. Even you, high-headed one. The stinking assassins be at it again. But the peace? Broken after your last trip down to the Big Easy. Things have been getting ugly. The stinking brother or your wife has stirred things up again. Julian? He's dead. I saw him die. Not all things are as they seem, bro. You know that. Come home, Remy. It's family. Ain't nothing more important than that. Whoosh! Henry! It's them, Remy. The Assassin's Guild. They don't want the tithing to take place. You're needed. You know their ways. Don't let them, let them get it. It's ours. We've earned it. Use what you know. Find out what you don't. What I knew of the assassins died with Belladonna, Henry. I'm sorry. Not all things are as they seem, bro. Go see for yourself. What do you mean, Henry? What about Bell? Take me home, Remy. Take me to our father. Yes, brother. I got their scent. Two of them heading towards Salem Center. We can catch them easy. No, I go alone. This is a family matter. Henry LeBeau was my brother. Fucking love that. I'm going with him. We all should. Wolverine, what? No, darling, we stay. It's what he wants. The Cajun's got to handle this himself. It's a blood debt. And I pity those on the receiving end. New Orleans, in a chamber far below the dark cobblestone streets of the French Quarter. The High Council of the Thieves' Guild gather and make preparations for coming events. The tithe collector of our benefactoress will soon arrive. The ceremony will commence tomorrow. All our families have been sent word to return with their tribute. For some, it will be the first tasting of the elixir. I propose that Remy LeBeau be permitted to accept it this year. No disrespect, Jean-Luc, but Remy, Jean-Luc, he is young, brash, impulsive, and not truly one of ours. Let us see if he even has the courtesy to honor his family with his presence. Let us see. Paris, France. The woman named Kendra gazes out, gazes out <laughs> upon the city of lights. In her long life, she has seen many new lights added to the Parisian skyline, for she is mutant with the additional gift of long life. She is an external. So this is bringing in the externals, not to be confused with the eternals, 
they were showing up around now a lot more in the X books. Um, and this is where, you know, we're about to meet another one in a second. I like that shot, though. I call it shots. Everything going is planned, beautiful one. It always does, Gideon. Now, Gideon's a guy I think he showed up first in New Mutants number 98. He is another external. They, they're they immortals like the Eternals, but mutant. Nothing ever truly changes for us. At times, I crave for some excitement in this long life. Who knows? Perhaps one day soon. The woods outside Salem Center. Assassins flee into the night. Adrenaline courses through their bodies as they seek to evade their pursuer. And when evasion does not work, they turn and fight. And I, I still say that that kind of looks like Grifter, but I like it. You will die, Tief. Fracoon, no. My brother had his life stolen by you, assassin. You have a broken piece I sacrificed much to attain. I won't be dying until I get answers. And that's one of the reasons why I love it. He throws a card, that happens. So let's finish this little game and I get what I want, eh? Ah, now we play hide and seek. Now we play hide and seek? Hmm. I can smoke in these comics. Steel reinforced door and a heavy duty lock. A formidable obstacle. If your pursuer was not a thief. And a mutant. Picking a lock was never so easy. If not so subtle. Are you waiting in the dark for me, assassins? I'm coming. The occupants of the X-Mansion mourn the passing of a thief they never knew and fear for the safety of one whom they call their own. He'll be all right, kid. There's more to the Cajun than any of us really knows. I love him, Wolverine. Now, that was a big... when I, <laughs> The moment is lost, but when I first read that for the first time in a long time, I did not realize that this was the issue that that happened. Like, and I knew it was going to ha happen somewhere, but in this book, in this issue, throwing that out there... Now, I know she's only throwing it at Wolverine, but... And I don't know, maybe she said it before, but it feels like this is a big, I love him. You know, it's a big deal. For her to love somebody, it's a really big deal because of her power set. You don't need to be a telepath to have that figured out one now, darling. This thing he's doing tonight, he's got to do alone. But after tonight, don't let him be alone again. There's something between you two. Marie Mariko and I had the same. Don't wait to wait until conditions are perfect. Because with the likes of us, they never are. Where are all you hiding, murderers? You good at killing from a distance? How about trying it up close and personal? I'm waiting. <coughs> I need a drink of water. Since I've done this like three times now. Hmm? Cowards. Look here. You're finally deciding to climb out of the dark places. Figuring you can handle one thief, eh? Well, let the cards fall where they may. Badass. Again. <laughs> Boof. Blows these people up. Well, you know. Cards were nothing but a distraction. I want you to see everything you're getting hit with. Again, that Dex. He's like Orem from Campaign 3 of Critical Role. You'll know where every blow is coming from. A chance my brother never had. Come, killers. We're not done yet. Bravo, Remy. You still fight more like an assassin than a thief. Thief. Which are you? Julian. It can't be. I saw you. Die, Remy. By your sword. 
Well, someone showed me death don't have to be forever. What say we finish our duel, Remy? No, Julian. If it is truly you, killing you once was more than enough. The second time presents no challenge. Clang! And little prophet. I don't know how or why you are still alive, but... Swish! This is for Henry! No! You won't be stealing my honor again, Julian! Don't! Right through the back. Oh, through the chest, through the back. Looking pale, Remy? No, that it is me, your wife's brother. You won't be killing me again, mon ami. I am here to stay. Julian, the portal is open. Let's return. I've got a job to do, Tief, for my sister, Remy. Belladonna almost died because of you, but I've kept her alive. We assassins got the power. You Tiefs got the life. It's time for us to have both, and I'll kill all the Tiefs to get it. For my sister, for me, for all assassins. Stay away from New Orleans, Tief, and stay away from my sister, or die with the rest of your stinking family. Belladonna? Alive? Later. How? We all saw her die. <laughs> What's going on, Gambit? First your brothers, now Belladonna. Is it all tied into this tithing thing? Can't be answering that yet, Petite. Don't know that I would if I could. I'll be leaving for New Orleans to get some answers. You need a hand down there, Cajun? I'm always up for a road trip to the Big Easy. The thing is family, Logan. I understand. We are your family as well, Gambit, and I am not comfortable with your going off on your own. He won't be traveling solo, Professor. I'll be with him all the way. No. You think y'all are man enough to stop me? Someday you'll find out just how much of a man I am, Cher. Until then. And you know, it's like, well, he'll say it in a second. Come if you want. But no, I'm going to find out if Belladonna, my wife, is alive. And you better be real sure you're up to this one, Cher. There are some things about me that you may not want to learn. And I, I like that. I've always liked, I mean, in all these characters, like especially, well, these kind of characters, they do have all that stuff that somebody else, they've done things that they've had to do or chose to do and had to learn from it and redeem themselves. He's kind of a middle character of like redeeming and just being fine with who he is, right? I'll take that chance on that one, sugar. Grab your babies, Creole mothers. Shut your doors against the spreading fog. The tithe collector walks the streets of the French Quarter. Beware the tithing time. To be continued. Bum, bum, bum. And that, my friends, was Gambit number one. And I like it. The art was great. I think the writing was good. It's dark. You get some moments here. She says, I love you. Like, or she says she loves him, the Wolverine. So big deal in this book. And uh, I'm yeah, I'm definitely doing number two. So keep an eye out for Gambit number two. Uh, again, if you guys are liking how I'm doing this, just let me know. I know that the voices are whatever. You either like them or you don't. They think they're funny. They think they're shit. It's fine. But just leave uh, your comments in the comments below, and uh, we'll see you on the next one of these. I plan on doing The Nice House on the Lake. I that was a project that I would tried to do a long time ago before I figured things out. So be on the lookout for the nice house on the lake. Also look at X-Men 97. And I have a shitload of old comic stuff from a million years ago that probably sucks. But if you want to see this dork from like 2018 to went till 2022 talk about comics, that's where you can find it on that playlist. So don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And we'll see you with more comics. So read comics, everybody. Get out there. And get them however you can, legally. See you later, Mozami. Ah, oh, man, I screwed that up. <laughs>